so here I am. After a year of experience with computer programming and a friend asked me what I do for a living. Now, to a point, I would tell everyone. I could. I create websites and mobile apps to keep it simple. But he having a little more knowledge than others wanted to know the details. He asked me for a road map as he was interested in programming as well but never had a proper guidance and didn't follow any path. I studied computer engineering and I had to explain it in a way he would understand. Not to sink him in the total overwhelming side of frameworks, DevOps, Git, Dev environments, tests, servers and all, which I will surely explain to him once he gets on the boat, otherwise will be a useless thing. Disclaimer. Two folks out there with over 5 years of experience, I know this isn't 10% accurate of what the real world is like, but you don't expect to tease the plasma state or Bose Einstein condensate state of matter to a third grader. So you can complain all your hearts out of the comment section below. Just don't spread hate against me. So we start where we begin to see computer programming, the web, where you google stuffs, watch your favorite cat videos on YouTube, browse Reddit on web, the Android phone or Apple's iPhone, iPad, the desktop where you open Chrome, Office or a notepad. We have Wave, Mobile, Desktop. Now, machine learning isn't my thing right now, so I will probably skip this one. In Web, you have got to create websites and web apps. A website is normally thought of as a boring showcase of blogs photos and web apps do more complex things like Canva, Google Docs. First, you got to design how the website looks and this is what front-end development looks like. You use HTML to structure your elements like text, images, then apply CSS to define the position and shape sizes, colors, then front-end JavaScript to define the front-end functionalities like pop-ups, alerts, changing the content on the fly. Now, there are frameworks for these things like Vue, React, Angular, SAS, SCSS that can ease your development by doing a lot of heavy lifting. Frameworks are like what Isaac Newton would describe in 1675. If I have seen further, it is by standing on the soldiers of giants. Then, your design is looking great, but now you need to store information like Facebook stores your personal info. Your pictures, what's on your mind, need to tell you when your friend's birthday is arriving and ask you to wish him a happy birthday. Now. Design alone cannot achieve the data functionality, so you need to develop backend, which will do the data storage or processing and give it to your front end to present your users. We have all sorts of languages and frameworks like PHP, Node.js, Java, Python and their frameworks as well. You know you have Android and iOS apps, but there's more. You have hybrid and web view apps that would basically use web designs and convert them to Android app, meaning you can write apps with HTML, JS and CSS and use some tools like Capacitor or Cordova to package it into apps. Native apps are those sole written for the mobile platform, we have Swift and Objective C for iOS apps, you will need Mac OS, you have Java for Android platform, React Native, 
native script and flutter you can write for both platform at once I haven't written desktop softwares with full-fledged UI with C and C++ but with Java and some alternatives. Microsoft Office, Notepad, your browser, Chrome, Firefox or others. Alternatively, desktop software can again be written in HTML, CSS and JS like the Discord desktop app or postman they are created with electron.js and many more for machine learning as always topic of interest and trends you have got face detection self-driving car where you would basically train a machine model with algorithms and expect the model to continue working as trained but as they say all machine models are incorrect but some of them are useful. I hope my friend you find this video useful along with some other depths. We'll be releasing more contents on these topics later. Thanks for watching indeed.